The accessory drive I've had on before, so it should just be pretty turnkey to put it back on. Uh, but just as a reminder, here's all the pieces to it. These are the two main pieces, and then all this hardware from uh, lsbrackets.com to work on my motor. Uh, Got to get the water pump on. Uh, this is a pulley for the power steering pump. It actually goes this way. And I look, or a tensioner, and then the, uh, the alternator. I'll use new gaskets for the water pump. Torque spec is 22 foot pounds. Yellow brackets basically go on the front, um, the two main aluminum pieces, and a series of spacers, and then all the, the bolts to go with it. First bolts to the head. The brackets are on, but they're loose, and you want to keep them loose um, until you put the alternator. The alternator goes in between here. If you tighten them up first, the, it's, you can't get the alternator in. Once everything's in place, you can go ahead and tighten things down. One thing I didn't mention is make sure you put your idler pulley on first. It's just a lot easier than um, when it's on the car. The idler pulley I took off of the G8 accessory drive setup. Uh, the alternator, um, it is a car quest. CarQuest 8247A. Um, it's basically a truck alternator um, from a like a mid 2000s any anything mid 2000s truck would work. For the power steering pump, it is a A1 Cardon uh, 20-990, and then the power steering pulley is a Dorman. 300-137. Before I put the power steering pump on, um, I'm going to put the pulley on. So I rented a pulley power steering puller, uh, power steering pump pulley um, assembly tool and uh, disassembly tool. So out of the kit, you just need to find the right combination of, um, of pieces, and these are the ones that look like it'll work for me. Um, this will screw down in the middle of the pump, and then this contraption screws on to the um, end of this, and that's how you basically uh, pull the pulley on, which we'll do. And this one screws on to the top here. Put on the thrust washer, put on that bearing, and then screw this guy down until it bottoms out. And keep the pump turning with the wrench on the top and basically tighten this guy down. You pull the pulley down. Now I'm going to check this. Um, it needs to be 60 thousandths of an inch, I think, from being totally pulled onto the shaft for all the pulleys to line up. This washer here is exactly 60 thousandths of an inch thick, so I can just kind of set that in there and, you know, I'm probably 120, so I'll keep going. See where we're at. My sixty thousandths thick washer. Take a look here. Hard to see, but it's uh, at the right position. I bought a pulley that's got these holes drilled in it that allows you to get this thing on and off with the pulley on. If for some reason you have a solid pulley, you need to mount the pump first and then put the pulley on.
here. This is the pressure side. You can see there's threads in that hole. No problem to get fitting in there. Um, but the return side is just, there's no threads. It's just a press in. And um, there's a metal tube, like right angle, that there's a press fit in there. I have been trying to find that tube and get it from someplace, and no luck. Look like it would work. I went to Home Depot and picked up these three items. Uh, this plastic elbow, just with barbs on the end, a um, coupling, and then a adapter that has barbs for a hose and threads um, for the other end. So a hose will go on here, and then the hose will go up to my remote reservoir, and then this I'm going to stick into here. Um, it's a real tight fit, um, but I think it'll work. And then to make sure it stays in there, I'm going to drill right here and put in a set screw. So right there's my uh, the hole that I tapped to put a set screw in to make sure that that plastic piece doesn't come out. Um, I put a put a plug in the in there so that none of the shavings got into the uh, into the pump, of course. The power steering pump goes on right here. The last part of the accessory drive is the uh, tensioner, and this is uh, the one that was on that came on the motor, and it basically bolts right to the uh, to the water pump. There's a completed accessory drive. Uh, the string I tied around there is a path the belt makes. So measuring the string, um, I'm coming out at about thirty. Nine and a half, forty inches, depending upon how I stretch the string. So thirty-nine and a half would be seventy-eight inches, and I did not have the tensioner flexed in. I probably picked up three or four different belts at different lengths that were close to the string length. Uh, but this is a, um, it's a, it's a Deco uh, six P K two zero seven zero. This is the sleeve from it here. Here's that set screw I put in there and here is this assembly so basically it will go into that hole um, push it in it's going to be a tight fit and then push or uh, screw in the set screw to hold it in place I'm not going to put it in right now because I don't know what orientation exactly I want it in until I know where I'm going to put the put the reservoir exactly 